The thank we call our God with hearts and hands and voices in whom his wondrous word in him we were rejoices from her mother's arms as blesses on her we with countless gifts of love and still be ours today. Amen. You welcome all. Can me the father of you all. No matter what race you are, where you're from, we're now recording Mass for Sunday, which is the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. It's the ERC. If you want to go to a missal, uh, find a prayer and the faithful and all that. Uh, it's also the 13th of October. So we're nearly into the middle of October, the heron season in, in uh, the coast here, it would be coming to its best after that. So let's hope they all get a good catch. Now, God gives us so much. Uh, the life of grace, he gives us healing and he gives us pardon. And sometimes we take them for granted. I think we often do, if we're honest. And we forget to thank him. As the late Father Trainer said one day, the parish priest of R.D. told him we don't get on our knees enough. Well, without getting on your knees, you can neither sit to pray. So, uh, that's what it's about today. Uh, the first hymn was, Now we thank you, all our God. And we're going to move on uh, with uh, getting the sins forgiven. So, You came to call sinners Christ of mercy, Lord of merciness, Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy in each one of us, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive a prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are Messiah, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And now we have the opening prayer. It's just called a collect as well. So the, uh, we're going to let us pray. That God will help us to love one another. Now what he means to love one another, not to be lustful with each other, to love one another. He does, unconditional love. So, Lord, our help and guide, make your love the foundation of our lives. May our love for you express itself in our eagerness to do good for others. We ask this for Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, without end of men. Now you may be seated. And uh, first reading. It's a reading from the book of Kings. Well, we hear where Naaman returned to Elisha and he acknowledged the Lord. Naaman the leper went down and immersed himself seven times in the river Jordan as Elisha 
had told him to do, and his flesh became clean, once more like the flesh of a little child. Returning to Elisha with his whole escort, he went in and stood before him. Now I know he said that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Now please accept a present from your servant. But Elisha replied, As the Lord lives, whom I serve, I will accept nothing. Naaman uh, pressed him to accept, but he refused. Then Naaman said, Since your answer is no, allow your servant to be given as much earth as two mules may carry, because your servant will no longer offer holocaust or sacrifice to any god except you, Lord. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The response to the psalm today is, The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord for his work wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his salvation to the nations. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our Lord, our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. The Lord has shown his salvation to all the nations. Second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to Timothy. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with Christ. Remember the good news that I carry, Jesus Christ risen from the dead, sprung down from the race of David. It is on account of this that I have my own hardships to bear even to be being chained like a criminal. But they cannot chain up God's news. So I bear it all for the sake of all those who are chosen, so that in the end they may have the salvation that is in Christ Jesus and the eternal glory that comes with it. He is saying that you can rely on if we have died with him, then we shall live with him. If we hold firm, then we shall reign with him. If we disown him, then we shall he will disown us. We may be unfaithful, but he is always faithful, for he cannot disown his own self. This is the word of the Lord. And now please for the Gospel of Nation and the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia. For all things give thanks, because this is what God expects you to do in Christ Jesus. Alleluia. Now today's Gospel is uh, Luke's Gospel and no one has come back to give praise to God, except one for not. So listen to the Gospel here. The Lord be with you and with the Spirit, reading the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus travelled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, ten lepers came to meet him. They stood way off and called him Jesus' Master. Take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Now as they were going away, they were sins. Finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, 
and threw himself at his, the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This made Jesus say, We're not all ten made clean. Hmm. The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, Stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well now, I'm going to devote this. I like keeping things simple to people. No long stories. Because it uh, confuses you. You start looking out the window if there's one in your church. And you forget what we're talking about. Now it's about... I have a very simple thanksgiving. And how often do we get on our feet and thank the Lord for all we've got? I remember Father Raymond, the trainer, God rest him, he said that on a tape. He was giving a, a, a lecture to Alcoholics uh, Anonymous in Dublin. And he quoted the parish priest of R.D., who was in his presence last week. And he would have... Uh, he did say, we don't thank God enough, don't get our knees, and neither we do, we take everything for granted, most of it, if we're truthful, we really don't do it enough, and I notice now that when you go for dinner on a Thursday in the Paris Curie Centre, they don't even say uh, grace before meals or grace after meals. I don't want to cause a show, but I do feel it could be introduced, because we don't thank God enough. Now, I'm just going to talk about the Gospel to Luke, because that's when it hits the thing. There was ten lepers in the Gospel we've seen, and they got uh, cured, and only one come back to thank him, Jesus. And he had some faith, that man. He was a, Swiss, you know, a Samaritan. So, it's just, remember that. Don't forget to thank God because uh, he's keeping you alive and keeping you well and hopefully he will, if you respect him, his commandments, respect the poor and all this, uh, you know, you, you love your neighbour as yourself. Don't, I don't mean make love, because some of the younger population are trying to think it's about making love and they get very confused when you use the word love. That's not love, that, that's lust that you're talking about. So it's not that, because, uh, it's really we don't thank, uh, honestly, <coughs> be honest with yourself, we do not thank God enough. That'd be something you do, but I don't think the majority do. So with that short sermon, <coughs> it wasn't two and a half hours anyhow, I thank God very much, and in the name of the Father, <coughs> Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now, we're going to recite the Creed. I'm going to do, uh, I'm not going to do the Apostles' Creed because I, I, I disagree uh, or maybe I will do it, it's changed here, I think it's new and a half. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, he crucified, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again according from the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Now keeping uh, in our mind uh, all the gifts we get from God through Jesus, for example, life of grace, healing and pardon, we take it on this for granted. So the prayers of the faithful are like this, that I'd say, Lord, hear my prayer, and you'd say, uh, the response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Yeah, that's what the Lord did. For the church on earth, 
that they may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in holy orders, dispensers of the sacraments, be fortified in their ministry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work in hospitals and medical clinics, may ye use their skills with love and mercy and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of St. Joseph's rediscover the mercy and healing available in the Sacrament of Reconciliation, especially this week, uh, 16th, I think it's the Redemptress Divina starts in the Redemptress churches all around the country, one in the dock. So now let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And make your own special prayer now, in silence. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And I'd like to pray for all those who died recently, and a green old man, well-known man, his father was a great mechanic, and uh, he's, he's deceased before him, but he's Patrick Cairn, and he'd be a grand-uncle of Father Bill Sharkey, oh my, and uh, poor Father Sharkey was a great preacher. But Francis Cairn, unfortunately, is after life, sadly, the other uh, day. So we're not going to say anything anymore. We offer our sympathy to Doris, the mother and all the, the Karen family, and the other uh, broad relations, because uh, it was a cousin, uh, a Paddy stood for me, his father, so uh, we'd like to see people uh, in the neighbourhood sharing uh, grief and helping people uh, when they're down, not drive them to the ground, which some of them try to do. So Lord hear us, Lord wait us, and a Karen restaurant to, uh, to Francis Karen, may his soul and all the souls that faithfully part through the mercy of God rest in peace, amen. Bountiful Father, hear the prayers of your people, who thank you in the perfect way by offering the Holy Eucharist. We ask this to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to move on. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us a better life. Blessed be God for ever. May the mystery of the water and wine become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, come a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and country heart, we be accepted to you. O Lord, and may this sacrifice in the sight of this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Now, Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the hands of praise and Lord his name for good and good of all his holy church.
the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let it give thanks to the Lord of God, it is right and just. Now, uh, you find the preface for year one, and we have it here. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and called us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join an ending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth is full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, Lord Jesus Christ, with the power of work and the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice and be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts you have brought to us for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son and Lord Jesus Christ, at his command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this out of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the clay cup, chalice, and given thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the unity, eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many, for so forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as you look forward to his second coming, we offer you with thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrifice of the victim by whose death you will us to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may be obtained the inheritance which you elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and glorious Martyrs and all the saints whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfading help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Papa Francesco, uh, Michael, our patriarch, me, your bishop, and all the bishops, and all the bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people who have gained for your own, you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family here and on the internet. All my friends that are on Facebook are on the, the, the Mass and all those who are pleasing to you as they're passing from this life to give kind and admittance to the Kingdom where we hope to enjoy forever 
the fullness of your glory. Through Jesus Christ the Lord, to whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God and mighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit and glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, let us say the simple prayer the Lord gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of the Savior Jesus Christ. To the King and the power and the glory yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace to leave you, and peace to give you, look not in our sins within the faith of the church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with the will, religion reigns forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace is that in there. And all of course, internet. In the mingling of the body and blood, bring your life to those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, happy those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, am it worthy that you should enter under my roof, that only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe, me and you, in eternal life, man. Little Christ. Amen. See how the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those who hope in his love, that he may rescue them from death and feed them in time of famine. And the Son of Man came to give his life as a ransom for many on that cross of Calvary. Now we receive the body, we're going to receive the Holy Communion. Oh yeah. This is the time you're very close to God. When you receive your communion, you can make your special petitions prayer after communion. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Yeah. The body of Christ. Yeah. Body of Christ. Yeah. The body of Christ. Yeah. Body of Christ. Amen. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. For he is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and thanksgiving be every moment thine. All singer, O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Now we're going to let us pray. Lord, may this Eucharist help us to remain faithful. May it teach us the way to eternal life. We ask this to Christ the Lord, amen. The Lord be with you, everybody, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless each and every one of you. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth now and serve the Lord. The Mass is ended. Now we're going to sing another song, uh, a praise we have to sing because we don't be thankful enough to our Lord. So we're going to... Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of God, we bow down before thee, all on earth thy ruler's name, all in heaven above adore thee, and is thy vast domain, everlasting is